Hello friends, welcome in KK Java Tutorials. In the previous video of uh, Python tutorial, we have learned a uh, basic concept about the set data structure. In this video tutorial, we'll see how we can add, remove or update items in the set. Yeah. So I am going to uh, copy these two lines of code from my previous demo and going to create a Python file is called add update and remove in set yeah and here just I'm going to paste these two lines of code so here you can see I have a set of fruits item and you know set always maintains the uh, always unique uh, collection of uh, items right so even though if you add a duplicate items that will be reflected only once let me show you so here you can see it is displaying only unique items so that's the basically basic properties another property is set doesn't maintain order so you cannot uh, basically retrieve item by uh, its index right so let's start with the first concept how to access items from the list so first thing you need to keep in mind you cannot access item in a set by referring to an index but you can loop through the set items using a for loop or ask if a specified value is present in a set by using the in keyword right so let's see how loop through the set and print the values so it's so simple you have to use the for loop and here you can give item name that that's the variable name that you can give anything and afterwards you have to give the in keyword and after that you can specify the your set variable name and inside that you can uh, do various things here just i'm going to display all the items right so here you can see all the items gets printed yeah now now let me give some separator so that different output i can separate right now now next thing uh, here i'm going to show you how to check whether a particular item is present in the uh, set or not right so here of course you can use kind of if or a, a, any kind of loop to check those conditions but directly i'm going to use in the print statement so here just i would like to check whether kiwi uh, is present in this uh, set or not so i will write kiwi in you have to use in keyword and then your set name so if kb is present in this set then it will return true as this is going to return false let me show you so it is returning true that means kb is present let's say i am writing over kb2 so of course that is not present in the set right so it will return false right so that's how we can check whether a particular item is present in the set or not right now let's uh, talk how to add uh, items in the set right so to add one item to a set you have to use add method right so let's see how we can uh, add an item to a set right so here i have a set and here i would like to add one item into this set so i will do uh, my set name then i will call add and here you have to uh, provide the element which you want to add so let's say i'm try to add mango right mango is not in the list so and after that of course i'll try to print the set again so that make sure that uh, mango has been added now if i run then here you can see okay i'm getting some exception let's see okay there is some i had left bracket round bracket so let's run again and here you can see mango ha has added in this uh, set right so that's why that's how you can add uh, an item in the set right one thing you have to keep in mind uh, so now a uh, second thing uh, we will learn here just i have added a single item right now now uh, here next thing we are going to learn uh, how to basically add items from the another set into the current set for that we can use update method right right let's say i have another set right i'm going to create a set let's say uh, i'm going to create a set let's say fruits 2 and let's say in this set uh, i'm going to add let's say home grenade right 
and another fruit name pineapple pine pineapple right so we have a two sets of fruits and fruits too now all the items from the fruits too i would like to add in fruits then we can use update method so i will do fruits dot update and when you use update right then here uh, not only you can pass the basically another set but you can pass any kind of iterable object that can be a tuple list or dictionary as well right so here as of now just i'm going to pass another set right now if i try to see what is present in the uh, what is the present in the uh, fruits and fruits 2 that fruits 2 will be unaltered there should not be any change in the fruits 2 but fruit uh, fruits has been modified right all these two items should be added to the fruits right because uh, i'm calling update method on the fruits and passing fruits to let me show you now here you can see uh, if you look into the second last uh, output so uh, here pomegranate and pineapple has been added over here right uh, but uh, if you look at the fruits too that is completely unchanged right so that's how if you want to add items from one set to current set then you can use update right and uh, you can pass any iterable object to this update method here now next thing we are going to learn how to remove an item from a set to remove an item to a set we can use either a remove or discard method but here you should understand what's the difference between these two methods here yeah? so let me show you so here i have a fruits which is uh, basically or let's say i am going to use a uh, fruits too which is a small a small uh, set so that identify uh, identifying a removal item would be easier so i would say fruits too and here i am going to call remove method and here you need to pass the element which you want to remove let's say i would like to remove pomegranates pomegranate from fruits too right so simply i'm calling remove method and after that of course i need to see after removal this changes has been reflected into fruits too or not so if i'm running then here you can see pomegranate has been deleted from fruits too and only pineapple you can see over here right now uh, one thing you have to keep in mind when you call the remove method and item which you want to remove from this set if that item does not exist in the set then it will throw an error let me show you let's say i am trying to remove pomegranate and just i am changing pomegranate 2 pomegranate 2 is not present in the fruits 2 then what happens let's see so it is throwing an error saying that key error right so saying that this key is not present at all in the uh, set and that's why it is throwing an error right so that's the basically uh, that's how basically remove method behaves but when we talk about now i'm going to change it now it is perfectly working because this uh, element present over here but uh, when we talk about the discard methods right discard method is uh, working little different than uh, remove so when you use discard method right let's say i'm trying to delete a uh, pomegranate again right so already pomegranate has been deleted over here right again i'm trying to if you call uh, let's say uh, remove uh, let's say if you call remove method again then uh, let's say just i have deleted a uh, pomegranate here and again i'm trying to uh, delete the pomegranate that means this line of code will throw an exception let me show you right it is throwing because already deleted item again i'm trying to delete and that's the reason it is throwing but if you use discard then discard method first of all this will discard method that will check if this item is present over here that will be deleted if not present then it will not throw an exception that's the difference between discard and remove and here you can see so again i'm trying to remove pomegranate that is already deleted then it is not throwing an error, error right so that's the difference between discard and remove you have to keep in mind now you can also remove item using op method right so uh, when uh, right you can also use a pop method method to remove an item but this method will remove the last item and you should remember that sets are not ordered so you will not know what item that gets removed right the return 
basically the, the this pop method will return the removed item right so as you know sets are uh, unordered right so when you when you when you are using a pop method you do not know uh, which item uh, which item that gets removed right that thing you have to keep in mind let's say i would like to remove one item from fruits right so i'd say fruits and i'll give the pop right and you can check what item has been removed right but here here one thing you should keep in mind uh set doesn't maintain order right so what item is going to remove you will never know but that you can check it out over here right so i will say uh removed item equals to and that item we can print over here right and of course after that we can print fruits right to verify whether the item has been removed or not right so if i run then here you can see removed item is saying watermelon and watermelon you will not get over here but next time same program if you run then might be a last element is something else rather than uh, water then that item will be removed right let me show you at this time kiwi has been removed right so when uh, when uh, you create a set then set doesn't maintain any order and that's the reason when you run this program multiple time then last uh, popped item or last remove item will be uh, you cannot decide right you can just print out what item has been removed because set doesn't maintain uh, index yeah so this thing so you have to keep in mind now next thing i'm going to show you a couple of more methods like we have a clear method right if you want to remove all the items right uh, from uh, any set then you may use a clear method right so let's say i'm doing let's i'm doing fruits dot clear that means it is going to uh, delete all the items from the set but it will return you the empty set let me show you so here you can see all the item has been removed but it is returning empty set now you can also delete items uh, from set using del keyword but thing is that there is some difference when you delete uh, items using clear clear will delete all the items but it will return the empty set but if you uh, if you uh, if you uh, if you delete uh, sets using del keyword then del is going to delete sets completely right afterwards you cannot you cannot even get the empty uh, set right let me show you if you try to access once you delete the set and after that you try to access it will throw an error let me show you so here you can see so after deleting right using del keyword after deleting the sets uh, yeah if i try to access then it is saying that name error name fruits is not defined right so make sure that uh, if you use del then you will never get fruits back right if that is your intention then go for the del if you want empty set to be returned after deleting all the items from the set then you have to go for the clear method right so that's all i wanted to show in this video tutorial guys guys big thank you and see you there in the next video tutorial